This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one website platform. Whether you're a business owner, artist, content creator, or just looking to build a great portfolio, Squarespace makes it easy to create beautiful website to display your work, connect with your audience, and sell your products all in one place. Procreate Dreams, aka Procreate for Animation, was released last year. Oh, and by the way, Happy New Year! Full disclaimer, I'm not an animator, as you can tell from my past animation attempts. But I had fun doing it, so let's go. Looking at the previews, it looks really cool. There are a lot of sophisticated features and gestures, as they should have since I already paid for this. There are some animation samples that we can go through. This one looks pretty cool. Wow, okay, the movement is so smooth. That is so beautiful. Wow, this is really well made. It's really smooth. I love it. Okay, let's try it out ourselves. There are some options you can choose from. Is this all 4K? Yeah, it's all 4K. This won't hurt my iPad, right? The default FPS is 24. I think that's the standard animation FPS, so I will just keep using 24. There are two options, draw and empty. I don't know what's the difference between these two. I'll just choose draw, so we can drag this down. I usually use Blackburn to draw in Procreate, but I don't know why this Blackburn is different from what I'm using. I'll be drawing Risley from Genshin. I will first sketch his face with a neutral expression. Please lower your expectations expectations because I am not capable of animating with this level of smoothness. But you know what I am capable of? Creating this cool looking website for my artwork. As artists, we want to showcase our works, be it to sell merch, apply for work, or just to create a neat portfolio for our creation. But Fong, I cannot make a website! Well. Me neither, but Squarespace is about to change your mind. Creating your own website in Squarespace is super easy. They have a lot of templates to choose from, depending on your needs. Their templates are really aesthetic and completely customizable. Just pick the one you like, drag your works, add some description, and done. It took like what? Two minutes? You can also modify the placement, add buttons, links, videos, what have you, simply by drag and drop. Super easy. If you're planning to sell your works, Squarespace has this feature that tracks everything from inventory, orders, invoices, and even analytics for both your website engagement and sales. But what I think is really cool is that they have this print-on-demand service powered by Printful, so it saves time for production. I'm planning on releasing merch in the future. I still don't know when or what I'm gonna make, but I wanna try out Squarespace for it. Squarespace sounds great, but wait, there is more. If you use the link squarespace.com slash fungsao, you get 10% off your first website or domain. Remember, use the link squarespace.com slash fungsao, 10% off. Thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring this video. From my experience animating in IB Spain, it's easier to sketch the whole movement first. I will animate his facial expression and maybe some blinking animation. I find it easier to draw the keyframes first. Keyframe is the starting and ending point in animation and filmmaking. So I will draw the keyframes and afterwards I will draw the frames in between so the transition is smoother. Okay, so apparently you cannot change the sequence in the flipbook. You have to go back to the animation interface and move the frames around. Why every time I move the frames around, there's always this hole in the middle. Also, there is no selection tool and also liquify in the draw and paint interface. You guys can let me know in the comments if there is actually a way to make a selection in the draw and paint interface because so far I can't find it. I think a shy expression would look good on Risley. Like maybe someone complimented him like, wow Risley, you make great brioche and he becomes all, you know, Sundere. I mean, he's not a Sundere, at least I don't think he is, but respectfully, okay, respectfully, Sundere expression looks really good on him. Now we have the rough sketch, and I'm gonna draw the cleaner sketch, and okay, look, I will be really harsh here. If you're a fan of Procreate Dreams, I'm I'm really sorry, but I'm just gonna rip the bandaid off. They put very little effort into the draw and paint feature. This is the whole interface. There's only brush, smudge, erase, layer, color, and flipbook. As a digital artist, you need so much more. Ibis Paint and Photoshop did an amazing job in combining the drawing and animation features because they keep all the digital art necessities. Even the interface stays the same. They only add the animation timeline. But again, maybe that's because Ibis Paint and Photoshop focuses on digital art more than the animation feature. My drawing here is not even symmetrical. Look, I'm gonna flip it for you guys. You guys can see how much of a mess this is. And I cannot 
fix it unless I erase and redraw it manually. I know I sound like a spoiled little shit demanding this and that. Maybe Procreate Dreams put a lot more effort into the animation features because they do look very sophisticated, I'm not gonna lie. And that's why the drawing features are very basic because it's not meant for digital art. And by the way, I'm just criticizing the draw and paint feature, not the animation feature. But I think, yeah, Procreate wanna focus more on the animation with dreams instead of drawing, and I'm just a whiny little turd. Okay, enough ranting, let's continue drawing. This is giving me OCD. Your drawing doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical, as long as it doesn't look weird when you flip it, you're good to go. I think this is pretty good. I don't know how to export my drawing from dreams to Procreate, so I screenshot the rough sketches and redraw them in Procreate. Procreate. I only move the head so his torso and fur cloak stay in one place. I just realized Procreate doesn't have stabilization like Ivy Spain does. Some of their line art brushes are already very stable though, but I prefer something loose like this. It's called technical pen. I will separate my drawing into different layers like I did in Ivy Spain so the face, hair, body are in separate layers. It depends on what you want to animate. You can even separate the facial features if you want the animation to be very detailed. Since I will animate the hair, I will separate separate it into three layers. Now as you can see, I have these folders for each part so it's easier to navigate. I'm not going to bore you with the base color. <laughs> bold wisely. I prefer cell shading for animation because it's easier and quicker since we have multiple assets to color. To spare my wrist, I will minimize the need to redraw as much as possible. I have low standard, as long as it doesn't look too goofy, I'm fine with it. Unfortunately, I do have to redraw his head turning. Why do I make it hard for myself? Oh my god, I actually did it. It's a little messy, but that's fine. Lower your standard. Wait a minute, we have one more. Yes, I'll see you in a bit. Three weeks later. Hey, I'm back. All assets are done. Now we can move on to the blinking animation. This is actually unnecessary, but I keep adding things. I may have a problem. But anyway, I also add the blinking to this asset. Now is there any way to export this to Procreate Dreams? Wait, I can't drag and drop? Maybe if I make a new canvas first. Uh, empty, I guess. I don't know. And drag. Oh, now it works. Okay, here's something I just learned. I was confused at first, but I think I got it now. If you go to draw and paint, you see there's flipbook, right? At first, I thought it was the same as frames, but no. See, I have only one frame, but I have multiple, um, let's just call them pages. There are multiple pages. So the longer my frame is, the more pages I will have in my flipbook. If I create another frame, it will also create a new page in my flipbook. You see there are some pages with bold colors, like this one, and the rest have faded colors, like this one. If you want to make some changes, make sure to do it on the bold colored ones, because the faded pages following them will also be affected. But the pages before this frame will not be affected. Hope that was easy to understand. I see smoke coming from your ears, but hold on, we still have some animating to do. I will begin the blinking animation first. Since all the layers from Procreate are still intact, you can just turn the layers on and off for each frame. I think the only way to set the frame duration is by dragging them. You can also group multiple frames so you can move them at the same time. This is just a very basic animation. You can do this in every animation software, I think. What I really wanna try is this one, where you can move things around. I think I will do that with his hair and for clothes. There is no liquify, unfortunately, but there is warp and distort, so I guess we can use that. So apparently you can't use warp or distort if you have multiple layers in your frames. As you can see, I have shit ton of layers. So I made a separate frame where I deleted all the layers except for his bangs, and I deleted the bangs layer from the original drawing. I'll do the same for the rest of the hair and fur cloak later on. Let's try using warp. Wait, what is this? I think there is something over here, but I'm too lazy to check, so let's just do it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, listen. I've been tackling this problem for almost 20 minutes. You guys might encounter this problem as well when you're using dream dreams. Such a stupid, stupid name. Sorry, that was uncalled for. Anyway, the problem I had was, okay, you see this frame? It consists only his ears. But for some reason, I cannot warp or distort it. Well, turns out you have to convert layers to tracks. And then it will create a group for some mother reason but you can just open the group and then select the track and now you can warp or distort you know what makes me really frustrated i wasted almost 20 minutes just tackling on this problem at least explain the reason like don't just say that you cannot distort this you cannot warp this it's so annoying to not knowing the reason sorry for showing too many emotions diffuse diffuse now let's animate the 
it. I think we need to work fast here since my animation is only 7 seconds long and no exaggerated movements because it will mess up the shading. Make sure to check your layers too because the assets might be double. I'm trying to animate the ears but I can't make it look natural for some reason. Ew, it's wiggling around like a caterpillar. Ugh. It's kind of hard to move around with only warp. I wish that liquify in the future. I should fix the fur cloak because it has some holes in it. Now I have to merge. 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 Seriously, I cannot merge. You can't see me, but I'm pinching with my fingers to merge the layers, as I always do in Procreate. But these layers just won't merge. For the love of god, why? Okay, fine. I have to redraw it in a single layer, so now we can wiggle it around. There's Gaussian Blur in here, which you can use to make a cool transition, but first I will add a background so it doesn't look too empty. Okay, so judgment time. Is Procreate Dreams worth it? For me, yeah, no. No. Look, I'm not an animator. I only animate goofy things for fun. And I only make hand-drawn animations anyway, which don't require sophisticated apps. If you're like me, then IBSpain is good enough. But if you're serious about animation and only have iPad and don't wanna spend... Wait, how much is Adobe After Effects? Jesus, $20.99 per month? Fung, it's not that expensive! Yeah, for you. I live in Indonesia, bro. That's a lot of money for... What, making this? Wait, what was I talking about? Oh yeah. If you're looking for After Effects alternative and you only have iPad, then yeah, Procreate Dreams is pretty good. No subscriptions, only one-time payment, but you will also need Procreate to make the assets. I mean, technically you can draw in Procreate Dreams, but it will take a lot of time and patience. Anyway, here's what Risley looks like when you complimented his brioche. Yeah, I'm pretty disappointed in myself too. I'm sure many people can create beautiful animations with Procreate Dreams, I'm just not one of them. I do hope they'll update the features in the future though. That's about it, see ya!